this one a uh, small update too. have you have you heard the update make you for listen to the update now updates update update national insurance up yeah. capital gains tax up inheritance tax up energy taxes up business rates up first time buyer stamp duty up pensions tax up they have fiddled the figures Today's budget sees the fiscal rules fiddled. Yeah. Borrowing. Borrowing increased by billions yeah. of pounds. Inflation busting handouts for the trade unions. Yeah. Yeah. Britain's poorest pensioners. British, Britain's poorest. Order. Order. Just as we respected the Chancellor and heard her speak, we were here, the Leader of the Opposition. Britain's poorest pensioners squeezed, yeah. welfare spending out of control and a spree of tax rises they promised the working people of this country they would not do. So you see, when these people, they talk, they do all kinds of things. They, they try to talk down on the country, talk, talk, try to talk down on Nigeria. That is it's not always the best way to do it. I get it because... If you hear the story of every other country, you self go shock. Many people are also going through a lot of issues, you know, understand me, you know, but we are working towards making sure that everything is fine. I'm not supporting the current situation in Nigeria. I'm not saying it's the best situation, but I'm saying that we cannot be the one to use our mouth to talk down on our country, to begin to spoil our country name, uh, especially what these Igbo people are doing, the Ibotic people. You see, uh, we have seen the Ibotic people it's like is they take it as um a point of duty to try to speak bad about our country but you see are we going to continue to allow them to talk nonsense you know distort our history and say all kinds of things so guys i just say let us listen to this little update it's just update you know for you to understand that nigeria is even the best as it stands now nigeria is the best i can assure you that nigeria is one of the best countries so far in terms of everything trust me but we are looking forward towards a better country where things will be working very, very well. But can this ever happen if we, the people of Nigeria, you know, don't expose the criminality of the Igbos and don't call them out? You see, we need to call out the criminality of the Igbos. We need to begin to hold our leaders accountable. You know, we our governors are not helping us as well. You know, our governors are, you know, taking all our resources for their own personal interest shall we continue to keep quiet and always put the blame on the president no the president is not the cause of our problem because uh, if you check very well the president have been you know allocating all the resources that is meant for the states to the to the governors and the governors have not been using it the, the governors have refused to use the resources that is meant for the development for the development of the people and the land so we need to begin to rise up and hold our governors accountable that's all we are saying you see, we need progress. Now that everybody is aware of this situation, what we can do that will bring progress is for all of us to come together and hold our leaders accountable. Let us hold our governors. What is it that our governors are doing? What are the, what is it? The, ask the governors question. What is the project that they have achieved since they have been in power? You see, look at Lagos today. Lagos is a model state for all Nigerians to learn from. That is actually possible for our state to be developed by the state governors. Just like what is going on in Lagos, uh, Governor Somolu, you see what he's doing. See a lot of development that is going on in Lagos. Why is it that there's no development in the South-South? Very important. South-South is uh, the largest production of, uh, of, the, of the oil that we have, the crude oil, the wealth of the nation. We collect the, one of the highest allocations from the federal government. Why is it that these resources from the state governors are not used? The, the resources are not used by our state governors to develop our state. South South is supposed to be the best, the best region in Nigeria today because of the numerous wealth, resources, federal allocation that they collect. But if you look at it today, it's, even, you know, it's, not, it's not a good standing. I don't even want to talk about the southeast of Nigeria where the Igbos are running up and down. 
Igbos have refused to hold their leaders in Igbo land, the Igbo political leaders accountable. Look at there's no development in the South East at all. The worst region in Nigeria today is the South East. So how can Nigeria be developed without, without the South East being developed? Because as long as the South East is not developed, many of the Igbos will still be running up and down, coming to our space. This is why it's very important for us to stand up and hold our leaders accountable. At least point out to them that there's a need for them to do the right thing. At least the right thing. The basic amenities is what the people know for growth. So guys, just a short one. I just decided to make you see that there's update. It's not just in Nigeria. Update everywhere. <laughs> there is update everywhere. All right. Take care, guys. Bye for now.